This semester marked a successful beginning of a new MU initiative, the Collegiate Recovery Group. Navigating the pressures of school, family, and friends while taking care of yourself can make recovery feel overwhelming. But now, Methodist offers a secure place of fellowship and support right on campus. Ksenia Petrova has the story. Juggling the pressures of college life can be challenging for anyone, but are even more difficult for those in addiction recovery. This semester, Methodist University campus became a host for a collegiate recovery group. The meetings, which are designed to provide fellowship and support, are open to anyone connected to any educational institution. This initiative was started by Assistant Professor of Nursing, Mitzi Averetti. There was a group of faculty that we gathered together at one point, looking at a couple of different options, mental health first aid training as one option and or collegiate recovery. But it wasn't until um, Dr. Worden became our new president and I met with him last fall and he was very supportive and very excited and wanted the initiative to move forward as quickly as possible. The new recovery program is one of more than a hundred such programs at colleges and universities across the country, but it is the first of its kind in Cumberland County. The initiative is part of a growing effort in higher education to help students with drug or alcohol problems. Some research has shown that if a college student can talk to another college student who has decided to make some changes, that can be have a more of an impact for that student to begin to look at trying to make some changes. We have had students from not only Methodist, but Fayetteville State and Fayetteville Tech. So in my opinion, that indicates that there was a community need. One of the participants, Alice Jackson, shared her experience at the Mew Recovery Group with us. I know Mitzi, who started the Collegiate Recovery, and she had called me and she said, we're starting a program for college-aged kids that are in recovery just to kind of help break the stigma and to have a safe and kind of environment for people who are interested in doing the same thing. I have a six-year-old daughter, so it's like I can be a mom to her, and it's like we can go to the beach, and we can eat dinner together, and like I can be an intentional parent. And then, like with school, I can complete my schoolwork, and I'm not rushed, and I'm set to graduate in December of this year, and it's like, I don't think that that would be possible for me if it wasn't for recovery. If you or anyone you know is working on recovery while also working to further their education and would like more information on the College of Recovery Group at the MU, do not hesitate to contact Mitzi Averetti or anyone else involved. There is an email that if anyone has any questions, they can email anonymously and just ask any questions. And it's Roaring for Recovery with the number four. Roaring for recovery at methodist.edu, and anyone in the community can email and ask questions. Despite the fact that the MU Recovery Group is only learning how to lead sessions, the organizers have already planned several events, including different training opportunities, movie screening, and even the visit of a recovery comedian. Because of some of the community initiatives that I'm involved in in Cumberland County, I was able to find out about some applications for support and resources of other collegiate recovery programs that have been in effect longer. And so I have put in an application to get support and resources from those types of sources. And there are actually leadership programs for students involved in collegiate recovery. There's a national conference every year of collegiate recovery programs from across the nation. And so two of the students that are involved in our group have applied for those leadership possibilities 
and I have put in an application. Even though this was my passion and what I wanted to get started, my goal is to hand it to the students, for the students to take over and really decide exactly what they want the meeting to be. Methodist University Recovery Group meets every Monday at 4.30 p.m. in room 104 of the Nursing Studies Building. I think that if someone's considering joining, that there is an option to be an ally. And that's not saying, like, I'm a person with substance abuse. That's not saying that I'm a person in recovery. It's saying, like, I support what this is doing. Sene Petrova for MU Reports.